in lab medicine. Have you ever wondered what procalcitonin test is and why it's done to patient admitted in hospital? No worries at all. We are going to discuss everything in this video. First of all, let's go by the definition. It's a precursor protein of the hormone calcitonin. Procalcitonin is a protein that is normally present in very low amounts, but increases significantly when you have a bacterial infection or sepsis. Second, many cell types manufacture PCT in response to pro-inflammatory stimuli, especially systemic bacterial infection. Through modulating the generation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, PCT influences the immunological response. Additionally, it functions as a chemokine, affecting parenchymal and monocyte migration to the site of inflammation. The lag time for PCT induction is approximately two to four hours after the onset of sepsis. Peak levels of PCT occur at 24 to 48 hours after sepsis. In healthy individuals, concentration of PCT is found to be below 0.5 NGJ. The level can increase up to 1,000 NGJ in patients with severe sepsis or septic shock. It's an excellent biomarker to help with diagnosing and ruling out sepsis and also to guide the initiation and cessation of antibiotics. Now, what can be the principle behind this test? How this minute protein can be determined in the laboratory? There are many methods used, but mostly we do it by fluorescence immunoassay. That's FIA. So here what happened is after applying the sample mixture to the test device, antigen on sample binds with fluorescence labeled antibody and formed complex on the membrane. Under the irradiation of laser light, it absorbs light energy, releases wavelengths higher than the excitation light, the intensity of this fluorescence light is scanned and converted into electric signal, which is directly proportional to the intensity of fluorescence light produced on the membrane. Now let's see how the test is done in the laboratory. Here we perform procalcitonin test on SD Biosensor Analyzer. We take a sample and put its ID and click direct. It will show insert device where we have to insert procalcitonin kit for scanning validity. Once it has been perfectly scanned, it will display the entire procedure on screen. As displayed procedure, we will aspirate 100 microliter of sample and mix it with procalcitonin buffer, mix the sample and buffer two to three times with the disposable dropper. After adequate mixing, apply 100 microliter of mixture to the sample pad and press start button. Do not put bubbles in the sample well of the test device. It will take around 15 minutes to display the results. Here we can interpret the results in conjunction with the clinical history of the patient. Pat the can also know how severe the infection is from the results here. If the range is less than 0.5 to 0.5, then it's healthy or at low risk. When it further increases from 0.5 to 2, then the patient is at moderate risk for the progression to sepsis. Likewise, PCT ranges from 2 to 10 indicates higher risk to sepsis and finally severe sepsis or septic shock ranging PCT level more than 10 